Dito ko mag-store. Good morning! So Frank and I are on our way to Ontario to PEC, Prince Edward County for uh, three days, oh no, four days and three nights. And it is renowned for wineries, great food like farm to table and also amazing beaches. It is our first time there, so we'll discover it and see if we like it. We made it to Parsons Brewing Company, and this place is renowned for, of course, beer, but also their ceviche. Look at their terrace. The Westy Pale Ale. It's a generously hopped, incredibly refreshing West Coast style pale ale. Smells amazing. We'll try the ceviche. The starter dish is the alumi on the flat bread. <laughs> People know I love potatoes. I'm a potato lover. Let's try this. On dirait des patates fresh off the à terre, tu sais. C'est genre ça, ça goûte pas l'air, tu sais, ça goûte le, c'est sucré un peu. So we just finished a lunch. And the place is full. The parking is packed. So we just made it to the town of Picton and we're gonna rock around the city, look at some souvenirs and discover this magical place. It's very sunny and hot. We're now in this little terrace. It's bon pour la tête. Kind of cold brew. We made it to Kinsip Distillery and we're gonna have our tasting. Drinking with chickens at Kinsip. So how the tasting works is that it's $50 per person. We choose three spirits and one cocktail. And it's actually 4 p.m. and they close at 5, so we gotta check it in an hour. So we just got our taster. So she recommended from top to bottom and to finish with the cocktails. That's Frank's side and that's my side. Cheers. So we just finished the tasting and we're now on to the cocktail. Frank's favorite is the Woodland Pine Vodka. And I I just cannot drink straight alcohol like that. I need to. So I... What? It's candy, it's Mr. Jean Jean. It's a Moscow Mule, c'est ça? Mm. Mais tu mets pas dedans. Tu manges. Tu manges. Ça goûte genre intense, j'ai 
ça sent le gingembre. Ça, ça c'est du gingembre. Euh... Oh! C'est fort. Oh! Le bout du gingembre. <rire> c'est vraiment craqué comme dans un gingembre. Ça va So, Frank Moscow Mule. Moi, j'ai un Lemon Lavender Gin Fizz. Ah oui, vraiment mieux que juste l'alcool spray. <rire> Good. Ça goûte pas tant avec ça. Non, il est bon. Il goûte pas genre trop. Euh... Ben, ben c'est ça qui te manque. <rire> Drinking with chicken. So we're on our way to the hotel to drop off our stuff in Belleville and then we're gonna go have dinner. at the hotel now we're off to our dinner walking towards there to um, deserve our food We just got an appetizer, a carpaccio, there's arugula, um, some sort of cheese, I forgot which one, and some beautiful pink petals. Cheese, uh, arugula. Hi there, how are you? We got the gnocchi and the tacos. Yum! Some butter, the spinach inside, the fond dans la bouche. It's really good. It's a good button. Look at this. This taco was delicious. <laughs> We just finished our dinner. The sunset is behind me. We're gonna head back to the hotel and sleep because tomorrow we have a wine tasting for slash trail slash just a lot of alcohol. Yay! very early so we're just gonna grab a coffee sit at the beach relax a little and then we're gonna start our wine yard Right now we're having a tasting with our fellow Montreal sommelier and we're trying two Chardonnay. This one is grapes from Niagara. 
it's lighter. And if we, we're doing the, all the four tests. So we started with the visual, the color. Obviously this one is paler than this one. There's 36 one yard here, and we're at 36 Norman Hardy Winery. So where do we go next? We got the Dolce Picante pizza. There's tomato, fiordi latte, pepperoncini, honey, sausage, rebel and blue, with a little bit of blue cheese, and bacon. It's pretty good now, We are now at the second wine yard of the day. It is the Rose Hall Run Wine Yard and we're going to try the flight number two. You might be wondering why it changed. It's because I dropped some tomato sauce and pizza on my white dress. So now I'm wearing jeans. See now, so what is something? Naturel non filtré. Ça dit la bière C'est bon. Je bon. We're gonna have a drink, or maybe not a drink because I can't feel my head. But hot dog, yes. C'est le barbecue, c'est bon. Neuf sur deux. Pourquoi neuf? Je vais couper l'autre. Même ça, c'est ça. We have the rosé, Chardonnay South Coast, Pinot South Coast, and you see each different glass has a different shape. So we're at our fifth one yard of the day. I my tongue is a bit numb, but this place has the best rose that we tried, the best Chardonnay that we tried, and the Pinot Noir. So I think out of the five that we tried, this place is our favorite. <laughs> We 
got two bottles of rosé and now maybe time for some more food and then maybe a nap because I need a nap. We are now at our last stop before a nap. We're getting a sandwich just to make sure we're full and that we taste the farm to table. We got the sandwich called Carlson and it is chicken. What else? We forgot what's in it, we'll show you. The greenhouse. Frank the tripe sauce. Ça y est, j'ai perdu Frank dans le greenhouse. Oh, sacré bleu. Une chance qu'on a pris juste un à deux. Please. Like dans le sandwich, c'est un pretzel bread. Oh, et la choucroute là. Ça a des choux avec du chicken, il y a un pickle, des syrup. Oh my god. C'est du romarin dans le fruit. Mm -hmm. Je mange le poulet. J'en ai même pas dans le pain. Mais là, c'est un peu quand même, il se posait mm. manger ça. Ça sent plutôt. We're gonna try just a chicken without the sandwich, just to see. Mmm, c'est sucré. Il y a comme du miel dessus. Mais c'est pas lourd. Même s'il y a du batter, c'est comme. C'est pas. C'est pas un fried chicken, mais c'est du real chicken. After a nap, we made our way to Midtown Brewing Co. So we got a taster, we got a lager, sour, kolsch, and a stout. Let's try. C'est la coche, county coche. Ça dit que tu le café. C'est soft. C'est le Guinness. Ok. So for me, my favorite is the sour, then the lager, the stout, and then this one. Got the sunset, a little taster, and we're eating on a barrel. On a le diavala. Je pense que c'est un petit peu picante. On a le fungi. We just switched table because on our little barrel, the pizza didn't fit. Now I'm eating my fungi pizza. We get artichoke, olives, mushrooms. C'est excellent. C'est picante? Un peu. So, our top three choices for dinner place were all closed or we couldn't go because there were private events. So, we ended up at Brewing Co., which was actually an amazing choice. So, we were really happy about our wood oven pizza and it was delicious. Frank enjoyed his beer. We discovered new beers. I discovered that I like sour beers. And that's it. So everything ends well. We loved our dinner and good night. Good morning! Today we are day 3 in PEC and today is a beach day. We are starting with a trail to walk off all the food and wine that we drank and ate yesterday. And FYI, if you want to go to Sandbanks, you have to buy a daily pass. And that looks like this. 
the daily pass is per car uh, it's 18.58 without tax and 21 total we made it to Dunes Beach and we're gonna start our trail Sandbank Dunes Trails. This two and a half kilometer trail loops the section of the world's largest freshwater baymouth barrier dune system. Steps and boardwalks are provided along the way, as well as viewing platforms and benches. The trail explores this unique dune habitat in wetland areas called canes. Hikers will be able to see unusual flora and glimpses of wildlife. In addition to the main trail, a one kilometer barrier free side trail loops through a pane and along the edge of one of the largest dunes. We just finished our trail. Now time to go chill on the beach. Quick little outfit change from our workout gear to the beach. We got our chairs, we got our towels, and a bit of food and we're going to go chill on the beach. Public beach nudity prohibited. Too bad. This is Sandbank Beach or Lakeshore Beach. Went into the water. It's very cold. Public House Market to grab lunch. We ordered fried chicken. Bulu Field Market. And we ate on the We're having dinner at Stella's Eatery. Yeah. Careful, top and it's a pumpkin. We got a rose from where? little tapas so we ordered four to share and we start with oysters so gross so fresh cauliflower and pea fritters This is a ricotta dumpling in sauce. Ooh la la. La gamme, ça, c'est une boule de bonheur. La sauce. Check the la vie. Je goûte. Nuage de bonheur. We waited a bit to get our table, like 30-ish minutes, but worth the wait. The food was really good, farm to table, we really tasted the local food. Good morning! So today we are day four, last day of our trip in PEC. We just checked out of our hotel room. We are doing one last wine yard, so we're heading to Red Tail Wine Yard, which was recommended to us by a sommelier that we met on our trip. It is also the, re the rosé that Frank had for dinner yesterday at the Stella's Eatery. We got a taster. The first one is the Pinot Gris. Chardonnay, rosé, Pinot Noir. One Chardonnay, three Rosé, two Pinot Noir, six bottles. We're here. Eating some blueberry scones, sweet cream, and homemade jam. We're gonna 
share and then appetizer. Scones, cappuccino in this view. We have a plate of fried chicken, waffle, some compote, and some fresh whipped cream going in my mouth. I hope without any hair. Now, let's try this. It's also on there, it's a little bit. I thought it was jambon, but it's bacon. Our trip is over. We just finished our meal at Drake Devonshire. It was really, really good. A great way to finish it off. I recommend for you to come to PEC if you want like a chill, relaxing getaway. It's just four hours from Montreal, two hours from Toronto. So that was our trip. Let me know down below if there's any other places that we didn't go to and that you suggest. And let me know also what your, was your favorite part of our other trip. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. Le barbecue, c'est bon. Bon, c'est bon. C'est bon. C'est bon. C'est bon. C'est bon ça. C'est bon ça. Délicieux. Délicieux.